For many people living in hotels and motels, the risk of going homeless is only one missed payment away, and renter protections are dubious at best. A Denver 7 Sloan Dickey reports one group of ex-tenants in Aurora forced out before they could have their day in court. Are you nervous because it's a gun? It was a place people once called home, but people living at the Summit View Inn on Colfax say they were forced to move out by armed guards. Some had lived there for months, others more than a decade. We've been there for four years. There's another elderly lady that says she's been there for 17 years. Now the extended stay motel sits empty. Motel managers posted these notices on residents' doors on September 14th, saying the motel was being shut down on October 28th to undergo renovations. Residents were forced out a few weeks prior on October 3rd. You would think security is supposed to be there to secure the people that's living there, not intimidating them and threatening them with their weapons. Now lawyers with the COVID-19 eviction defense project have filed a class action lawsuit against the Summit View Inn's corporate owner, Verco, saying the rights of the residents classified as tenants were violated because they weren't given enough notice to gather their belongings. A tenant has certain rights in Colorado and those rights were violated. Many now have nowhere to live. Others have not retrieved valuable paperwork for their jobs. Others lost family heirlooms. I have one client who lost a family Bible. One client who lost the ashes of his grandparents. Um, you know, these are the kinds of things which are invaluable. The lawsuit argues that because the residents of the hotel stayed for long periods of time and signed rental agreements, that they are classified as tenants. In Colorado, in order to evict, landlords must first send a written notice. If the tenant doesn't get out, they must file a claim in court, allow the tenants to respond, then schedule a legal eviction with the county sheriff. No notice, no court hearing, nothing of any sort was ever given to them. They were basically told that they had to get out. Um, if they gathered what they could and what they could put on their backs and leave. Management at Verco declined to discuss the details of the case, but did send us a statement saying they've worked with the city of Aurora to help guests to find new safe housing, and anyone who left items behind is welcome back to retrieve them. They want to get their property back. That's the initial uh, part of the lawsuit. As for the armed guards, managers previously told Denver 7 they were hired because of an increase in crime in the neighborhoods near the motel. Nobody should have to suffer the indignity that these people suffered or the fear that they suffered when they did. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7. The class action lawsuit was filed in Arapahoe County on Friday and a hearing for the case has been scheduled for next week.